Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Club and in this video I'll explain how to convert the columns of a data frame to a list in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears. And we can have a look at this data frame object by clicking on the data frame and then a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame and as you can see our data contains five rows and three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to convert the first column of this data frame x1 to a list. Then we can apply the list function as you can see in line 6 of the code. And in this line of code, I'm applying the list function to our data frame column. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called myList1. So if you run line 6 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new list is appearing. And we can print this list to the RStudio console by running line 7 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new list object, which is consisting of one list element. And this list element is consisting of the values that are stored in the column x1. So in this first example I have explained how to extract one column from a data frame and convert this column to a list. However, it is also possible to convert all columns of a data frame to a list. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 9 of the code. And in this line of code I am again using the list function. However, this time I'm using the list function to create an empty list and I'm storing this empty list in another data object which is called myList2. So if you run this line of code, you can see that a new list is appearing at the top right of RStudio which currently has zero list elements. However, we can change that by using the code that you can see in lines 11 to 13. And in these lines of code, I'm using a for loop. And within this for loop, I'm specifying that I want to iterate over the columns of our data frame. And then within the for loop, I'm specifying that I want to store the column i in the list element i. So if you run line 11 to 13 of the code, you can see that our list is updated because now our list element myList2 consists of three list elements. However, I also want to rename the list elements in our list so that the names of this list are equal to the column names of our data frame. And we can do that by applying the names function and the call names function, as you can see in line 15 of the code. So after running this line of code, the names of our list elements are updated. And finally, we can print our updated list to the RStudio console by running line 17 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a new list which is consisting of three list elements that are called x1, x2 and x3. And the three list elements contain exactly the same values as our input data frame. So in this video I have explained how to convert the variables stored in a data frame to list elements of a list in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content and the R programming code that I have shown in this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.